Hello, my name is Tony Roberts with Avaya Global Support Services. This video is about Avaya Aura System Manager Bash Shellshock Remediation. You can find out more information about the Shellshock vulnerability along with all the fixes that Avaya are implementing against all of its products by visiting support.avaya.com and clicking on the link shown on the screen here. Here you will see a lot of information with regard to the Shellshock vulnerability, but for this video we're going to be concerned with the product patch statuses. So if we click on this link here, it will bring up a list of all of our products and how we go about remediating the Shellshock vulnerability against all of those products. To find the System Manager product on this page, simply scroll down to the bottom of the first page and the top of the second. From this we can see that the patch for System Manager is only available from 6.2 onwards. Any early releases will require to be upgraded to 6.2 or later. Um, so if we click on this link, it will take us to the PSN 4331, which will describe how to download and install the Shellshock patch for System Manager. The first thing that we see about the PSN is that the patch not only applies to System Manager itself, but also to WebLM releases within VMware. In the Products Affected section, we can see that all releases of System Manager 1.0 through 6.3.10 are affected by the Shellshock vulnerability. But, however, I mentioned earlier that the patch itself is only applicable to 6.2 onwards, and within the PSN, any releases earlier than 6.2 will be advised to upgrade. If we scroll down to the Resolution section, we can see the name of the Shellshock patch uh, that will be applied to System Manager. It's System Manager underscore WebLM underscore Shellshock underscore patch dot bin. It's important to note that if the patch is already installed on a 6.2 release and the system is upgraded to 6.3, then you will need to reinstall the patch after the upgrade. And again, if the patch is already installed on a 6.3 system, if you do patch it to a higher release, then you will also need to install this patch again. However, from 6.3.11 onwards, the patch will be included within the um, service pack, so there will be no further need to reinstall the patch after upgrading. So within the remarks section, we can see the releases that are actually available for the patch to be installed on for System Manager. And if we scroll down a little bit further, we, we can see here how we go and match our service pack level within System Manager graphical user interface to the levels here so that we can confirm whether the patch is available to be run on the server or not. And we can see the same for the WebLM servers out of interest. As with the application of any patch, Avaya recommend of taking a full backup prior to installing the patch. Once the backup has been successfully taken, the next step is to download the Shellshock vulnerability patch for System Manager from the support.avaya.com website. The steps here describe how to obtain the patch and download it into your desktop. Once the patch has been successfully downloaded to your desktop, the next step will be to copy it onto the System Manager server itself into the temp folder. Then, via the command line, we would change to the temp folder, change the permissions of the patch file to be executable, and then run the patch. I'll run through all of this in a second after we run through the PSN so you can get, see exactly what will happen when we run the patch. Another important aspect of the patch is to note that it isn't service affecting. So when you run the patch on System Manager, no services will be restarted, it'll just install the patch. And then a couple more steps, once the patch has been run, we have a verification section where we can run a small command here and it will confirm whether the system is still considered to be vulnerable or not. Okay, so now let's review the steps necessary to download the System Manager Bash Shellshock patch. So, first of all, go back to the support.avaya.com website and from the top navigation bar, click on the Downloads link. Next, enter the product name of System Manager. choose our Aura System Manager. 
Next, choose your release, either 6.3 or 6.2, and you'll be presented with all the 6.3 releases. If we scroll down towards the bottom, we can see the System Manager and WebLM Shellshock patch. It's worth mentioning that it's the same patch file for both 6.2 and 6.3 systems, so you can use the same one for either. So clicking on that link opens up a fresh window, and if we scroll down a little bit, we can see this is the patch file that we actually need to download. And if we take a look on the top right, this is the PSN that we reviewed a, a little while ago. So I'm just going to click on the, the Shellshock patch bin file to download the file. Okay, so now we see this is the, the correct patch that we need to download. So if we click on the download link, and so I'm just going to click on the link to download the patch to my desktop. Next, I will run through how to copy the System Manager Shellshock patch over to the temp folder on the System Manager server itself. To do this, I'm going to use WinSCP. First of all, populate the host name with the IP address of the System Manager server, and then enter in the username as admin and the password for the CLI for admin, not the, uh, the web console password. And click on Login. Next, drag and drop the patch file from the, your desktop over to the temp folder on the system manager. You can accept the defaults and click on copy. And now we can see the file is successfully copied over to the system manager server. Next, I'll connect into the system manager through the CLI through Secure Shell to verify the MD5 sum of the patch file to ensure that it didn't become corrupt along the way. To do this, I'm going to use PuTTY to connect into the System Manager. Populate the IP address and click on Open. Next, log in as the admin user and then SU to root. Next, we're going to change to the temp folder and just double check to make certain that the patch file actually exists in the folder. Finally, we're, we're going to run MD5SUM on that file and ensure that it matches the same as the support.avi.com website. If it doesn't match, then please do not install the patch, re-download and try the MD5SUM again and ensure that the MD5SUM does match before you proceed. Next, we need to confirm whether the system manager is vulnerable to attack or not. Okay, so let's go back to the PSN and we can see in the verification steps that there are two commands that we need to run to see whether the system is actually vulnerable or not. So I'm just going to copy one of these commands and paste it in and hit return. So we can see here that it does in fact say that it's vulnerable um, and this is what we expect to see before we apply the patch. And if I run the second command here we see exactly what it says that we're going to see and also if I take a look at the temp echo file we can see that it has indeed managed to put the date in there um, so so this is exactly what we were expecting to see prior to installing the patch okay so the next thing we need to do is actually install the bash shellshock patch into the system manager so in order to do that from the PSN we add executable permissions into the patch bin file and hit return and then we run the patch. So we can see it took about five seconds to complete. So the final thing we need to do is to confirm that the patch installed successfully and that the system is no longer vulnerable. So let's rerun the vulnerability tests. This one passed, it's no longer vulnerable, and we'll just run the second one just to confirm. And this time, there isn't the echo file that we were expecting if it was vulnerable. That concludes the video on how to install the Bash Shellshock patch for a Viaora system manager.
Thank you for watching. Avaya look forward to receiving any feedback or questions you may have, and you can submit them via mentor at avaya.com or through Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.